The next step of this flow is to convert the HTML that looks horrible, has golden information in it that looks horrible, into plain text or text that we can use. The text parser offers a HTML to text transformer. I select that and it's asking me for the HTML. You don't want to copy and paste the HTML. You want this HTML to be a variable. The reason why is because you're not just going to be coming in here and running it one business at a time. You're going to be using this flow at scale. That's what you should be using it for. And I will do that in this video and show you how. So you select the data module. You see, you see how that is blinking? That means that the data is coming from that module. In a large flow, even the most seasoned of no-code experts with development backgrounds, etc., can get lost trying to find them. You will learn how to code manually eventually. For right now, you can just use the list. I like advise that you try and get stuck into anything like that you just do that but that's why we had to run this module on its own because now we have the variable so now i hit run it's going to give me this error message this error message is baloney it's just because the transformer is the last module in the route that is good practice you don't want a transformer as the last module in a route it generally speaking means that you've not finished the flow but for this case when you're building flows out you need this to happen to check data you don't want to go and build your whole flow and then come back and realize there was an issue here 